What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, in this one we're going back to the roots with some low stakes tournament action. I know, I know, nobody watches low stakes tournament vlogs, but you know what? Nobody watches my cash game vlogs either. <laughs> so yeah YouTube, go flop yourself. Tournament vlog it is, let's go. In this one we're at the 501k level, I'm sitting on just under 7 bigs and I pick up ace king offsuit in the cutoff. When action folds to me, I have an easy all-in. It folds around to the big blind who makes the call with ace-jack offsuit. I'm in great shape to double up. We go heads up to a run out, the flop comes 10 king deuce 2 clubs, I flop a king but my opponent still has plenty of outs. Turn comes the ace of clubs giving me top 2 pair, but now my opponent can win with any queen or club on the river. Always a sweat right? The river comes, the 3 of hearts, and I get the double up. A couple of hands later, I look down at pocket 7s in the small blind, action folds around to the cutoff who was my opponent in the previous hand and they're going to open shove their remaining 3 big blinds. I think the best play for me is to isolate the all in player and go heads up, so I shove for just over 12,000 and the big blind snap calls, like basically beats me to the pot and they cover me so I'm a little bit worried. We flip over our cards, the cutoff has king 9 offsuit and the big blind shows pocket queens. Let's see how things went down. Seven, one time. Seven! Seven! What the? The flop comes a sick king nine seven. I flop a set and the cutoff flops top two pair. The turn is a five and the river is another five. I river a boat and take down the pot. A couple levels later, I get dealt jack six suited in the small blind. Action folds around to the button who limps. I don't necessarily love to play, but I complete just because I know the player in the big blind is unlikely to raise and as expected they check their option. We go 3 ways to a flop of 8 king 9 2 clubs, action checks around to the button who bets 3000, I'm getting a great price so I make the call and the big blind calls as well. The turn is the best I could hope for other than a club, it's the 10 of diamonds, I now have an open ended straight draw on top of my flush draw. I still only have jack high though, my stack to pot ratio is less than 1 and we're still a few spots away from the money. I want to give myself the best chance of taking this pot down, so I go all in. The big blind tanks for a while before finally making the call and they cover, and the button gets out of the way. We flip our cards, I fully expect to be behind, but the big blind shows 4-7 of clubs. I have my opponent completely dominated with jack high, what? We go heads up to the river, which comes the ace of diamonds, and I win a very decent sized pot. Taking a quick look at the price pool, 3 players are getting paid with just over 500 for first, we're still 7 handed though so still plenty of work to be done before making the money. Another couple levels go by before I pick up king queen off suit in middle position, the under the gun player opens up the action to 12,000 and I have to think about my decision here. I have just over 10 bigs and the raise represents about 20% of my stack, for this reason I feel like a call is the worst option, especially if a player behind me decides to squeeze which would put me in a real tough spot. Folding feels a little bit too tight since there's only a few hands I'm completely crushed by. That leaves me with one option, all in. I put the rest of my stack in, action falls back to the undergun player who snap calls so it's not looking great for me and they show ace king. We go heads up to a run out and BOOM! Queen in the window, dealer is once again working his magic as the rest of the flop comes 7 king queen, turn is the 5 of spades and the river is the ace of clubs giving my opponent a better 2 pair and knocking me out of the tournament. Fast forward a couple of weeks, we're back in another tournament. In this hand, we're at the 300-600 level and I pick up pocket jacks under the gun. I open the action to 2000 and the big blind is the only player to make the call. We go heads up to a flop of 774 rainbow. Big blind checks to me, I see bet small for 1200 and the big blind calls. The turn is very interesting, it's the 7 of hearts and the big blind checks for a second time. The 7 is actually a great card for me because it doesn't change much if I was already losing to trip 7s. It does however allow me to potentially stack my opponent if they have an under pair to my jacks, maybe even a 4. I want to keep my opponent in and set up a river shove so I bet on the smaller side, 3000, but that's too much for them and they fold. A couple levels later, we join the action at the 501k level and the undergun player limps, small blind completes and I check my option. We go 3 ways to a flop of 3-6 ace rainbow and I look down at 5-8 offsuit. Action checks around and the turn comes a 7, giving me an open ended straight draw. I won't win if I end up with 8 high though, so I have to try and take the pot down. I bet 1500 just like if I was betting for value. 
Honor Gun folds, but the big blind sticks around. Heads up to the river, it's a king, and the small blind checks for a third time. 8 high is very unlikely to be best here. I bet 3500, and it gets the job done. At the 1k 2k level, I pick up Ace Jack and Under the Gun, and I open to 6000, and the big blind is the only player to make the call. We go heads up to a flop of 6 7 Jack 2 hearts, I make top pair. The big blind decides to lead out for 10k, and with just over 16k behind, I go all in. The big blind calls, and they cover. They show pocket 10s. I'm in great shape to double up here, as I have them completely cr- my bad, the turn is a 10, and I'm out of the tournament. See ya! Third time's a charm, right? About a month later, first hand I get involved in, we're at the 200-400 level, and I pick up pocket jacks in the cutoff. Under the gun player limps, and I bump it up to 2000. Raising a little bigger in the early stages of the tournament here. Action falls back around to the under gun player who makes the call. We go heads up to a flop of 7, 4, 9, 2 clubs, and just like in the previous hand, under the gun leads into me for 2000, I only have 3600 behind, so in they go. Considering it's not even a min raise, I expect a snap call from my opponent, but they actually go in the tank, so it's pretty obvious I'm way ahead, and after about 15 seconds, under the gun finally makes the call with pocket deuces. The rest of the run out comes the five of clubs, I've got clubs covered, and the river is the ace of spades, and I double up to just above starting stack. At the 300-600 level, I've been chipping up, and in this hand, action folds to the low jack with limps, it folds to me, I pick up ace-king offsuit in the small blind, I raise to 2000, and the low jack calls. Once again, going heads up to a flop with this player, and it comes queen 9 5 all clubs, we both check. Turn is a deuce of hearts, and action checks around. When the river comes to 5 of hearts, my opponent decides to lead out for 3000 and... What's that smell? It smells like... A bluff, yeah! I call, and they announce ace high, and I take this one down. With blinds now at 400-800, Edward in middle position, min raises to 1600. Edward is a recent subscriber to the channel, shout out to Edward. Action falls to me in the small blind and I look down at pocket 7s. I don't anticipate a squeeze from the big blind so I make the call and the big blind actually folds so we go heads up to a flop of 975, yes I flop my set. I check and flow to Edward, begging for a c bet, but he checks back. The turn comes the jack of hearts, and I don't want this to check through a second time, so I lead for 2200, and Edward min raises to 4500. Given the action so far, I'm a little bit surprised to get min raised here. Anyway, I come back to my senses pretty quickly. I've got third set. If he check pocket jacks or nines, or open with 10 8, so be it. I go all in for around 14,000 more, and Edward snap calls and shows. Jack 10 suited for top pair 10 kicker. Aw, come on, Edward. You have to watch more of my vlogs, man. You know top pair is no good. What's that? He rivered a straight? 7, 8, 9, mother. What the? F you, Edward. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Edward, nice hand, man. Thank you so much for your support, and I look forward to many more battles in the future. Well, that's three tournaments and zero caches. Yay! Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. And if you don't want to miss the next one, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. In the meantime, good luck at the tables, and I'll catch you in the next one.